Welcome to exam map. In this video, we will see the timeline of Indian history. You can visit our website isbio.com or exammap.com or you can message us on our WhatsApp number for personal guidance and notes. So let's start. First, we have from 10,000 BC, the old stone age. In this old stone age, we have four parts that is Paleolithic period. Then we have Lower Paleolithic, then Middle Paleolithic and Upper Paleolithic. This Paleolithic period is from 2 million BC to 10,000. Then Lower Paleolithic is from 2 million to 50,000 BC. Middle Paleolithic period is from 50,000 BC to 40,000 BC and then Upper Paleolithic period is 40,000 BC to 10,000 BC. So, Paleolithic period, uh, in this period fire was discovered. In the lower Paleolithic period, tools made of limestone were used. Then in middle Paleolithic period, they are found in Chota Nagpur Plateau region. And in the upper Paleolithic period, you can see the rock caves, stone tools, large pebbles and big animals hunting. Then we have Mesolithic age from 10,000 BC to 6,000 BC. In this age, hunters, hunters and herders were found and they used microliths tools. Microliths tools means small tools and starting agriculture and domestication of big, big to small animals. Then we have Neolithic age. In this period, they use sedentary lifestyle sedentary lifestyle means inactive lifestyle this inactive lifestyle means that they are spending most of their time lying and downing in neolithic age we have all also found village communities and also the agriculture and domestication were there and polishing stones tools were found then we have metal age after neolithic age it is also known as chalcolithic age that is copper stone because there were use of copper for the first time and it is also known as iron age and known as pre harappan phase then we have indus valley civilization which is from 2500 BC. In this, we found Bronze Age civilization and development of urban culture that is superior urbanization and burn bricks were used to make home and the bronze and terracotta seals were found. Now we have Aryan Age that is Vedic period. In this uh, period we have two types that is early Vedic period and later Vedic period. Early Vedic period is from 1500 to 1000 BC and then later Vedic period is from 1000 to 500 BC. And uh, early Vedic period is known as Rig Vedic period. And later Vedic period is the growth of second urban phase with the establishment of Mahajanpats. And we found mentions of Aryans in India and they were pastoral and tribal and egalitarian means there were Sabha and Samiti and agriculture and their life is sedentary lifestyle. Four Vedas were there and Brahmans prevalent in this period black red pottery we were found varna system were there that is four types of varna system in later vedic period that is brahmans on the top then we have kshatriyas then we have vaishyas and then we have shudras priest came into power due to rituals of uh, that is sacrificing of horses and etc Upanishads uh, were there and end to criticize rituals then we have Magad empire 
and uh, there was a term for mahajanpats that is which were established during later vedic period uh, 16 kingdoms with certain republics was established and they were known as mahajanpats now we have magad empire in this empire the timeline is 500 bc and this is started from the Haryanka dynasty. In the Haryanka dynasty, we will see the Bimbisara, Ajatsatru and Udayan were the rulers. And then we have Shishunaga, Shishung, uh, Shishunga dynasty. In this Shishunga dynasty, the rulers were Shishunga and Kala Ashoka and then found Nanda dynasty. And the ruler were Mahapadmananda. Here we have the map of magad region you can see northeastern part the, uh, the part of the bihar chhattisgarh and odisha and this is the part of patliputra bodh gaya and mathura now we have cholas you can see cholas from the 300 bc to 1200 AD and Pandyas from 300 BC to 1600 AD and then Cheras from 300 to 1000 AD and all these three powers are in the southern India you can check that Chola empire is above the Pandya empire and Chera empire is to the west side to the Pandya region then we see the Greek invasion in the India and there were Greece versus Greek versus Iran inv invasion in India that is Alexander who was the great conquered Asia and also known as the fighting fighter men and it is from the minor turkey iraq iran up to punjab it covers the area of iraq iran and up to the punjab bias and greek army after fighting porus takshila then facing the nanda dynasty revolt then we have Mauryan empire in the Mauryan empire we have uh, different rulers that is first we see Chandragupta then Maurya Chandragupta Maurya then Bindusara Ashoka and we have found later Mauryas in the Chandragupta or Mauryan empire we have seen political unification of India and Dhamma policy of Ashoka the growth of the art and architecture these are the different regions covered under Mughal Empire you can check how it is expanding first we see the northern area under the Mauryan Empire then it is expanding from the northwestern area and then you can see the whole India is under the Mughal Empire then we have Shungas and Kanvas and Sadhvanas. The Sunga dynasty started from the 185 BC to 73 BC and Sunga dynasty was established by Pushyamitra Sunga and then after that we have Kanvas that is Kanva dynasty and founded it is found it was founded by Vasudeva and we have Sadhvana dynasty which was the region under these three powers then we have Gupta Empire in the Gupta Empire the rulers were Chandragupta first then Samudragupta 
then chandragupta second kumara gupta skanda gupta 319 ad was known as gupta age the golden age of india and development of numerous art and literature and the nagara style of temple building were there you can see the region under the gupta empire almost whole india except the deccan plateau region then we have harshvardhana that is vardhana dynasty and established by the harshas and kannauj assembly and prayag assembly were there and hun sang visited harsa assembly here are the regions of chalukyas palwas and pandyas again in the south region then imperial cholas and then we have delhi sultanate uh, delhi sultanate was delhi sultanate uh, have had many dynasties under this that is first we say have we have seen the rule of palwas then rasputas then pratiharas then first muslim invasion was there who was muhammad bin qasim invaded india and then we have chalukyas and first turk invasion second turk invasion first turk invasion was by muhammad mahmud of ghazni then second turk invasion was mahmud of gori and then after that prithvira chauhan then we see the sultanate period first we have seen the slave dynasty which was established by qutubuddin abak and followed by samshuddin altutmish rajya sultan and weak successor and the last one is ghiyasuddin balwan then we have seen the khalji dynasty all the these are all the parts of delhi sultanate khalji dynasty in the khalji dynasty it was established by jalaluddin khalji he was the founder and then uh, we have seen alauddin khalji after khalji dynasty there were tughlaq dynasty which was founded by ghiyasuddin tughlaq and then muhammad bin tughlaq firoz shah tughlaq and taimur invasion was there that is taimur the descendant of chengiz khan invaded during the reign of muhammad shah tughlaq then we have seen sayyid dynasty the last dynasty of delhi sultanate sayyid dynasty who was founded by the behlul lodhi the founder of lodhi dynasty and we have seen sikandar lodhi after that behlul lodhi and ibrahim lodhi ibrahim lodhi uh, babar defeated lodhi in the first battle of panipat which is held between the babar and ibrahim lodhi and after that we have seen the british area or british region british india you were found there thank you class